Let me guess. You have to get these ashes to consecrated ground in order to destroy the forces of mutants. No! Oops. You have no idea what you've just done. Robert Zemeckis and Steve Starkey, my Amblin neighbors, were big believers in the pre-Lord of the Rings talent of Peter Jackson and Fran Walsh. When Bob got Universal to let Peter direct the Frighteners in New Zealand, he realized that someone needed to go there to help him make the transition from the small films they had been making to a big studio movie. During one of Peter's Los Angeles visits, we had lunch and realized we could work together. So I packed up the family and moved to Wellington for a year. During the day, I worked on the longest approved shooting schedule of any Universal film, and at night helped grow the visual effects side of Weta which had been in existence less than three years and had only done 30 digital shots into a company that could complete the 475 effect shots contractually obligated as part of the movie. This was more effect shots than almost any movie made up until that time. Richard Taylor, who runs the Weta Workshop, was a constant support during this, for which I will always be grateful. I was able to connect with Andrew Adamson, who happened to be in New Zealand visiting family, and get him to help me think through how best to build on Weta's limited experience and work within the limits of 1990s computer technology. Andrew and I would work together again on the Shrek film. Visual effects people and equipment flowed into Camperdown Studios. Universal was so impressed with Peter's rough cut that they moved the theatrical release date up by four months. We brought a family friend, Elijah Wood, to the film's U.S. premiere where he and Peter met for the first time. The rest, they say, is cinema history. Oh, right, right. Yeah, I'll just be outside. I'll just, whoa! 